In today's video, we're taking a look at the charcoal snake method, easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video and related videos, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So you've been hearing rumors about the snake method, the bird method, the chihuahua method, and you didn't know your grill was related more to the Lion King than cooking itself. Don't worry, here at the Statabox team, we've got your back. We might be standing six feet away, but trust us, with these binoculars, we can see you. So the first thing that you're gonna need is your favorite seasoning. In today's video, we're using salt and pepper because most of the flavor is gonna come from the wood. But if you wanna add a barbecue rub, you can check out our video. We'll leave a link in the description. The second thing that you're gonna need is yourself. If you can't get yourself, then this is the time to convince somebody on the household that you need a 10, 12, 14, 16 hour plus favor. Optional are cold drinks or hot beverages. This is something that's also optional, but we consider it to be the most important thing after yourself and the grill and the charcoal of course, is a thermometer. And if you can get a thermometer that goes two ways so it can measure the grill's temperature and also the meat's temperature even better. And today we're choosing a pork butt. Now we're ready to start. We can go ahead and season the meat. And remember, you wanna get every nook and cranny. And this is something that you wanna do three days before, two days before, one day before, 12 hours before, eight hours before, six hours before, four hours before, two hours before, or how we like to do it here at the Statabox team. We bought everything today. Luckily, we had the grill already. If you're gonna leave it seasoning on the fridge for more than an hour, we like to place it in a bag. Now, let's go ahead to the cooking station. Let's show the world what your hands are capable of. No, and we don't mean that, but we do know you're the best at that as well. And this method is called the snake method, but because as you can see, you lay the charcoal in three to four to five packs in lines or circles, depending on your grill. So let's say you have a circular grill and you don't have metal dividers. You can also use this method going around the grill and putting your meat in the middle. The same for a small square grill. If you have a barrel like us, you can use this method, but the technique is the same. Basically, what you don't want to do is that your lit charcoal turns on the unlit charcoal on the other side. And this is gonna create a slow burn. The bigger your charcoal grill, the more charcoal you wanna have in the pack. If you have a small grill, then you want your packs to be of two or three charcoals. If you have a bigger grill, you want it to be from four to five charcoal. This is something that you're gonna do trial and error. But if you wanna avoid that, you can start small with two or three, and then if you notice it does not reach the desired temperature, you can add more on top. Now, you can add your wood chips or wood chunks. In our case, we're using apple wood chunk. Now, we're gonna take a pack of charcoal and turn it on. Using the chimney method, it's gonna be a lot easier. If you did a three charcoal pack or a five charcoal pack, that's the amount you wanna put inside the chimney. If you wanna see our video on how to turn on charcoal without a chimney starter, we'll leave a link on the description as well. And also how to turn it on with a chimney. Now we're gonna place our drip pan and also a pan with water. A pro tip, heating up the water accelerate the process. And the idea of the water is to keep moisture inside the grill. Now we can place the lit charcoal on the beginning of the line. And whichever side you use is up to you. You are the MacGyver of the charcoal grill. Now that the charcoals are on, we can place our cooking grates and let our grill come to temperature. And we're looking at anything from 215 to 250. We're gonna fully open the top vent and open the side vent where the charcoal is at full way. And we're using the indirect method, meaning that the charcoal is gonna be on one side and the meat on another. We can season the cooking grates taking a little bit of cooking oil or cooking spray and spraying the grates. 
and if you need to clean the grill, this would be a great time to do so. Even better when the grill is hot. If you have a two-way thermometer, we place the first thermometer on the cooking grate. Once we hit our target temperature, we can go ahead and place the meat. Our temperature has been holding steady for about 230 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is why having your own thermometer is a good idea. As you can see, the grill says 300 degrees or about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, but our thermometer says 230 degrees Fahrenheit. And to maintain the temperature, if it's too low, then you wanna open the vents the most you can. If it's too high, then you wanna close the vents the most you can. And this, you wanna do it gradually until you hit the sweet spot. If you notice you open the vent all the way and it's still not getting hot enough, you might have to add more charcoal to your pack. Now comes the waiting game. So this is where you show the world that all your training watching paint dry has been for this moment. Here at the Static Box team, we're proud of you. Tears of joy run down the neck of the bottle of ice cold, bubbly seltzer water that we have in our hands. If during the cooking process, you notice that your charcoal line is finishing, you can go ahead and remove the ashes from the old burnt line and add more. Always double check that your old charcoal is not on. We add more wood and we try for no reason to open the grill because this is going to create a temperature drop. Once we get to our four or six hour mark, depending on what you're cooking, we wanna go ahead and wrap our meat. The time that your meat is gonna take to cook, it's gonna depend on the type of meat and the weight. Ribs could be done in three to four hours or even sometimes six hours. A brisket from 12 to 20 hours, a pork butt or shoulder could take anywhere from five to 12 hours, a whole chicken anywhere from two to four hours, and remember, this all depends on the weight of the meat. That's why a cooking thermometer is always a good thing. Now we can go ahead and close back the lid. Once we get to an internal temperature from 190 degrees Fahrenheit to 195, we're done. If you're gonna add a barbecue sauce, you can check out our barbecue sauce video. We're gonna leave a link on the description. Once you get to this temperature, you can go ahead and remove the wrap, add it to your meat, and place it back for about 15 minutes for the sugars to caramelize. In our case, we're not adding barbecue sauce. Now comes the hardest thing of the cooking process. And it's not the 12 hours you spent cooking a piece of meat, is now letting it rest for half an hour to an hour. Today, we congratulate you. You have showed the world that you have what it takes. You are the human of the future. Go tell your spouse or friends or family members that you have evolved to a greater, more powerful being. You can see the smoke ring created from the smoking. And no, we don't mean that smoking. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone at the Statabox team or someone in the community can help you with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our last video.